We've got Ben back this week with another great suggestion for saving money on your utility bills. A couple of things I want to mention. Check with your local municipality and see if they have any kind of toilet exchange program, especially here in California where the drought is such a big issue and conserving what water we have is a priority. Last winter, Marin County, where I live, gave all the residents new high efficiency toilets in exchange for their older pre-1995 toilet. We got two, one for each bathroom, and these are the high highest efficiency toilets available at 1.28 gallons per flush. The biggest question I got from people was do they work? And without a doubt, yes, these aren't like the earlier generations that may have required several flushes. These work with a single flush every time. And yes, we've saved a lot of money on our water bill. If your toilet is old, did you know that you could be saving over $200 a year by switching to high efficiency toilets? Hi everyone, it's me, Ben, from the channel Ben Builds and welcome back to Home and Garden for Mere Mortals. I do a series showing you how you can save money around the house, and in today's episode, we're going to be tackling the toilet. How much money are you possibly wasting a year by using an inefficient, non-low gallons per flush toilet? Let's find out. The first step is actually to see if you have a problem. In my house, we've all switched to high efficiency toilets, so there's not really a good example I can show you of a low efficiency one, but high efficiency toilets typically have the brand name printed here, along with how many gallons or liters per flush. In this case, the toilet uses 1.6 gallons or 6 liters per flush. So we're going to go ahead and look at some examples online of inefficient toilets and see how much more they would potentially cost than this high efficiency toilet here. Okay, so we're here on the conserveh2o.org website, um, which is a website that shows basically how much water you can save by using low flow or high efficiency toilets. Um, in fact, there are toilets that go down to even 1.28 gallons per flush and are guaranteed to work. Um, so the standard 1.6 gallons is not actually the best. 1.28 is better if you can get them. Um, so old toilets actually consumed an average of uh, either 3.5 five gallons per flush or even up to seven gallons per flush. Um, new toilets, standard toilets use 1.6, super high efficiency toilets use 1.28. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pick the middle of the road uh, value for old toilets at five gallons per flush and go plug that in and see how much money we could save. All right, it's math time. So with the previous month's water bill, we used 6,200 gallons of water and that cost $12.66 for water usage, another $0.53 cents under water usage, $28.83 for sewer usage, $8.73 for basic service water, and $20.84 for basic service sewer. Because you have to account not only for the fact that the water costs coming in, but also going out in my county. Um, so the total for 6,200 gallons of water was $71.59, and $71.59 divided by 6,200 gets you $0.012 per gallon, or 1.2 cents per gallon of water. So then over here, um, we can see that an old toilet conservatively uses five gallons of water per flush. Um, my research online shows that it could either be 3.5, five, but most of them were actually seven gallons. So I went ahead and conservatively estimated five gallons. New toilets use 1.6 gallons at a maximum, so that's a difference of 3.4 gallons per flush. The city of Tampa, which is a city close to me, estimates four flushes per person per day in a household. So in a four-person household, which is the average in the U.S., that's 5,840 flushes per family per year. 5,840 flushes times 3.4 gallons per flush is a wasted 19,856 gallons of water per year. 19,856 times 1.2 cents per gallon is an average annual savings of $238.27 per year. $238.27 you can save every year if you switch over to high efficiency toilets. It's definitely worth it, it helps the environment, and it helps your wallet too. Okay, also, just in case you're curious, I thought I'd mention that there's this stick right here inside a toilet tank that controls how much water comes to fill the tank, and um, it has a little adjustment knob right here, and that adjustment knob adjusts the floater 
in the toilet up and down to determine how high the water level in the tank is supposed to fill. If you want to use even less water than your 1.6 gallons, just go ahead and turn this little adjustment knob right here until the floater gets to the point where the water level is below the line that you can see in the toilet. Um, you'll still usually be able to flush everything away just fine, and you'll use less water every time. Thank you all so much for watching my video here on Home and Garden for Mere Mortals. I've got more videos like this on my channel pertaining to electronics, amateur radio, and building stuff in general. So if you want to check that out, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to give Home and Garden for Mere Mortals a subscribe to see some more cool videos created by my fellow collaborators. Thank you all, everyone, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. In today's episode of Home and Garden for Mere Mortals, I'm going to be talking to you about energy saving with the washer and dryer, and how you can potentially save upwards of $50 a year just by washing.